When it comes to finding the right software to use for bookkeeping for your business, it can be really hard to decipher between all of the different services and the different softwares that are offered out there. In this video, I am going to be sharing my opinion on the different types of QuickBooks online versions there are, and hopefully this will help you narrow down your search. My name is Adrena and I am the owner and accountant here at Accounting by Adrena. I am a certified QuickBooks Pro Advisor and here to be your expert bookkeeper and offer general advice and insight to you. QuickBooks really offers five different online versions of its software. So the first version is QuickBooks Self-Employed and this is really gonna be your best bet as an entrepreneur starting out your business. So think of it in terms of how complex is your business financials. It's not gonna be very complex when you're just starting off because you have limited number of transactions hitting your bank account and you might not actually have a business bank account yet. You might just be using your personal bank account, which I do not recommend. So get a business bank account as soon as you can and connect that with the QuickBooks self-employed version. So this is really for the entrepreneur. There are simplistic banking accounts and reporting that you can do. It's very simple. So what they have is just set up a way for you to categorize certain transactions that are coming through to your bank account. It could be a checking account, a savings account, and maybe a credit card that you have um, out there. I think one of the best features of this version of software is that it offers a very um, helpful way to do your quarterly estimated tax reporting. And this is specifically for people who use a Schedule C when they report their taxes um, to the IRS. This is also gonna be your lowest cost option available out there, um, comparatively speaking. And I just wanna let you guys know, I do have a QuickBooks self-employed tutorial up on my YouTube channel, so go check that out if you're curious about the nitty gritty details of the QuickBooks self-employed version. The next level up from the QuickBooks self-employed version is going to be called the QuickBooks Simple Start. Now the Simple Start is really just that. It's just the next level in um, your business bookkeeping. So maybe you have, um, more than one checking account now. Maybe you have more than one savings account. Maybe you have more than one credit card. Maybe there are multiple transactions coming through your bank account and you need a, a way to classify these in a more robust way than uh, the QuickBooks self-employed version can do. This is also gonna get you started on an, an accountant perspective when it comes to using QuickBooks online. So you can actually connect with accountants when using any of these QuickBooks online versions. And that's usually what I do with my clients is I make sure that I'm connected to their QuickBooks account and that they also have a way to log in and connect to their QuickBooks account. So in this version of QuickBooks Simple Start, it's gonna be very limited. It's basically a bare bones kind of version to get you started running a P&L, running a balance sheet. Um, but the reporting feature is not gonna be very robust it's going to be pretty simple and there's no inventory tracking and there will only be capacity for one user on the quickbooks website they say that you can run general reports including profit and loss expense and balance sheet reports but you're really not going to get like the robust features of any other versions out there this is just to get your feet wet as far as uh, making sure that you're doing a PL and a balance sheet every month all right, so the next version above Simple Start is called Essentials. So QuickBooks Essentials is gonna be the next level up from the Simple Start version. So it's going to include most of the things that we've already talked about, but instead they have two user capabilities. So this, you know, for example, this could be really great if it's a husband and wife team, so that way both of them have access to log in to QuickBooks. This could also be great when there is a CEO and a CFO that also need to access QuickBooks and run reports on their own. Now, QuickBooks website says, know how business is doing with sales, accounts receivable, and accounts payable reports, which means when you run your balance sheet, you can actually see what is outstanding on an accrual basis. So that is gonna be helpful for you when you start to grow your business. 
Um, but as far as the reporting capacity, it's still gonna be um, minimal. Now, if you're at this point in your business with using QuickBooks Essentials, I wanna make sure that you know how to do some forecasting and budgeting, and you can stay tuned for my mini course for bookkeeping for the entrepreneur, where I really help walk you through creating a forecast and budget, and this is outside of QuickBooks. Now, the next level up from Essentials is called QuickBooks Plus. Now, this is my actual favorite version to use, and forgive me for nerding out, but I love that I have the capacity to create my own reports and to generate my favorite reports on an as-needed basis. And there is one specific report called Transaction Detail by Account that I absolutely love to run for me and for my clients every month because it shows exactly every single transaction that is hitting your QuickBooks account. So this is going to be your best bet as an entrepreneur and as a small business who is growing. You can also have up to five users have their own specific logins on this type of um, QuickBooks Plus. In addition to all of that, this is the version that you will want to use for inventory tracking. So now, before I get into the nitty gritty details about inventory tracking, I wanna make sure that when you are using this version of inventory tracking, that you are actually connected with an accountant with a QuickBooks Certified Pro Advisor because they are really gonna know how to do the accounting, how to do the logistics of the debits and credits of the inventory tracking. I would say don't try this at home on your own if you are not qualified to be doing your accounting. This is really gonna be for those who are qualified, who understand the behind the scenes part of QuickBooks and how it functions because it can be confusing. Let me just tell you that. So make sure you are connected with a QuickBooks Certified Pro Advisor um, for inventory tracking. Now the next thing that you can do in this version, and one of the things that I love about this version is class and location tracking. Now this is something that's really specific to this version of QuickBooks and then to the one um, above it. But as far as like class and location tracking are concerned, let's just say you have one business but two locations that you're operating out of and you wanna make sure that you are reporting, let's say a profit and loss based off of those two different locations just to see how they're performing. This is gonna be the version that you're gonna to wanna to use because when you start getting into a growing business and you have multiple locations, you wanna make sure that they are performing at their best and this is a way that you can track that performance. Now that's for location tracking. For class tracking, this is a way that you can basically categorize different types of transactions. Let's say it's an expense or a bill or an invoice, you can actually find a way to tag each of those transactions with a specific class. So let me give you an example. Let's say you have property and you're a real estate um, owner or developer and you wanna track each property and see how they are performing. Um, so you have maybe like five rentals and they're all in different locations and you create a class for each of those rentals, but you're still categorizing all of the transactions as you normally would, well then this is a way that you can select for each transaction a specific class or a specific property, and you can run reports based off of that. And this is, this is one of the reasons why I love this so much. I have clients that use this religiously. <laughs> I mean, it's really gonna be that helpful when it comes to looking at your financials and when it comes to planning for the future and forecasting. This version also has a way that you can track billable expenses by customer for invoicing. So let's say you paid for something that your customer actually needs to reimburse you for. There is a way in QuickBooks in this particular version where you can say this, is, this expense goes to this customer. So when it comes time to do the invoicing, you can add that expense to their invoice so they can repay you back, which is awesome. And lastly, the QuickBooks uh, website says this, stay on track with inventory reports, enhanced sales reports, class reports, and profitability reports. 
Now at this point in your business when you are using QuickBooks Plus, I wanna make sure that you know that I have a video out talking about how I manage bookkeeping in Asana, and this is really gonna help you with the workflow process when it comes to your every, every day, every week, every month bookkeeping. Now the very last version of QuickBooks is called QuickBooks Advanced. Now imagine this, you are a huge business, you have multiple departments, and you have multiple users that need to log in and access QuickBooks to run departmental reports to see how they're doing. This is the version for you. You have the capacity to do up to 25 users, and let's just say if you had this big of a business, you might have one person dedicated to doing accounts payable, you might have one person dedicated to doing accounts receivable, and those people are both running at full-time capacity. And so you would have kind of like a robust accounting team, um, someone who reviews all of the AP and AR, someone who manages all of the bookkeeping and the bank reconciliations. So this is really when you go beyond any of the versions that I've talked about and you have a booming business, this is the version that you're going to want to use. This includes everything that we've already talked about, and so this is just gonna be the robust option and the best option for you if you are a booming business. QuickBooks says you can monitor key financial metrics like revenue and cash flow on one dashboard. Now, I, I've only had one client that have, has used this version of QuickBooks, and it is very robust, and I would say you would need to make sure that you get your staff trained to use this version of QuickBooks because things could mess up really easily if you don't know what you're doing in QuickBooks. Um, things that are on the balance sheet, if those aren't getting looked at on a monthly basis and they're not getting reconciled on a monthly basis, this could cause, cause a huge problem when, you, when it comes time to doing your monthly reports. All right, so those are the five different versions of QuickBooks Online. I hope you found this video useful. Remember to like and subscribe so you are the first to know of more helpful videos that are coming out to you. I'll talk to you guys soon.